Hey everybody, I uh, just thought I'd shoot a quick video with some uh, random stuff I've been working on with some fun electronics. Uh, we've got a Voyager cortical device uh, that was always so used as uh, Admiral Janeway's little transporter device from Endgame, where she beams away the chronokinetic deflector. Uh, has a little magnet in the back too. Uh, electronics by GM Props. I did the 3D model. Um, we've got a Klystron slash mini Romulan pad. Uh, has the Romulan graphics, so technically the wrong graphic for the Rob, the um, Klystron version uh, that was seen in the episode Dax. Kind of a fun random one. Um, we've got this TNG ODN scanner, I believe, but I've also seen it in DS9. Uh, specifically the episode Storyteller, where Jake uses it in the self-sealing stem bolt scene. Uh, this was 3D printed. Um, I need to work on the lens here, but there should be a graphic on there, but i got to switch on the back here. Maybe. There we go. And just a simple circuit there. And this is also 3D printed. And we've got, oh, this guy. Not quite done, need to finish the graphics, but it's a little um, medical device made out of a circuit tester, apparently. This is a 3D model. Um, I didn't make this 3D model. Just gonna improvise some electronics there. Then we've got the Romulan tricorder. Um, you can see it in the next phase. And it's also used as one of the, uh, I think it's the Kesprit from Attached as their scanner, tricorder, whatever. It's kind of fun prop there. But this, this one might be more recognizable as uh, Vosh's tricorder from uh, Captain's Holiday. And these are both 3D printed. And then I did the uh, electronics for these guys. I did the electronics for all these except for the uh, Voyager device. Or Voyager um, brain thing when it's attached to your head. Uh, it's probably not a good situation. <sighs> so we've got that one. And then another, uh, we'll go with this guy. Um, started off as, a, I feel like it's a bunch of different props. It's uh, Kivas Fajo's little belt thing in the most toys that uh, deflects data. It's also a tool Dr. Crusher uses a lot. Um, it's a little bit of a different paint scheme and configuration. This seems to be a later version that I believe shows up in Voyager. And some simple flashers there. A little Elkar screen. Light at the bottom. Uh, this was a fun experiment trying to recreate the look of ABS plastic just using paint. So, like I said, another 3D printed one, and then one that seems to be pretty popular, uh, Q's tricorder pad from Star Trek Borg. Same kind of thing there. Um, the hard part was doing the uh, acrylic piece, but this is also 3D printed. And the acrylic piece on that. Uh, and then kind of a random one here. Um, supposedly this is was made for TNG or could have been a fan made one. Either way, it sold at auction, one of the big auctions, but um, everybody calls it the Yesterday's Enterprise Tricorder. This is a 3D printed replica of that as best as I could model from the photos. So just kind of some simple electronics, nothing too fancy. Um, I do need to light the screen, but my uh, I need to get the correct material because you can see the graphics are um, 
not doing too well. So need to redo that, and then I'll do some more um, probably lighting, at least with the screen. And there should be a little label here that says science. So that's that guy. And last but not least, uh, one that was kind of a big project, literally. Um, data's phase discriminator from TNG times arrow. Got some fun flashers there and then tried to make it look like it was uh, doing something like in the show. But this one was a little tough to do from screen caps and then pictures of a prop. That's a different version of this, so that was a uh, a fun one there, but anyway, so yeah, that's just some some fun things. Like I said, all these are 3D printed from files I made except for this one, and then um, I did all the electronics except for this guy right here. So anyway, thanks so much.